guys, welcome back to the channel. Marley and I have been up here in the mountains as usual for the past couple days. And we've been working on a lot of different projects. Now I brought with me the new dynamic air rifle generation three. Now I'm pretty familiar with these guns. I have reviewed the generation two model and I've really gotten my hands on the first, second and third. Now what's neat about the third generation is they really kind of took the feedback from you guys, from myself and, and from quite a few other people and they put that feedback into this product. And so I'm gonna pull this out of the box, we'll take a look at it, I'm gonna mount a scope and we'll do a little bit of shooting with it. Now when you open this box, you're gonna receive a user's manual you're going to receive one aluminum magazine and you're going to receive a o-ring kit which is definitely really nice comes with every o-ring that you would need for this gun so i went ahead and mounted a scope on here the overall length of this rifle is just about 40 inches and the weight is 6.7 pounds. So it's a pretty small, lightweight gun. Um, the older style was just a single lever here. It didn't have the handle right here, which they've added. And this handle swivels. So when you pull it back, it makes it that much easier and that much smoother. Um, this is much smoother than the old model and a lot quicker and you can decock the gun they did upgrade the breech block on this gun um, with a picatinny rail this is not you know bolted on the top this is actually all machined into one piece of the uh, breech much better way of securing a scope um, you're not going to have any sliding um, you know that definitely helps with the point of impact changes or any kind of flexing that you can sometimes get with the 11 millimeter. Now the trigger has been upgraded as well. Should be a lot lighter, a lot easier to adjust. And I've been pretty happy with it. I don't feel that creak that I did in the Gen 2. So they definitely improved this. And I'm sure those of you who are inclined to, you could definitely do some adjustment to it maybe smooth some things out and I'm sure it'd probably even be better. But out of the box, I'm pretty happy. And on top of that, it's just got the cross bolt safety, you know, really simple, really easy to use and definitely functions as it should. Now you guys can see right here, there's kind of like a, some spacers. Well, this is where the regulator is in the gun and they've added some plenum behind that. So that's gonna make the gun just a little bit more efficient. For those of you who wanna crank this up and try and get a little bit more power, you can run the reg at a higher pressure. And uh, right now the gun is putting out just about 30 foot pounds in 22 caliber, which I think is perfect for this size of gun, you know, in 22 caliber. Now this gun is shrouded. It houses, I believe the, the barrel is just over 16 inches and it does have half inch threading. So you can mount a moderator on this gun, although it is pretty damn quiet um, without it. But I did bring a moderator, we'll try on here. You guys can see how it looks. And so I've got a zero decibel we'll put on here. I am gonna show you guys some decibel readings as part of my full review. But for now, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that this does fit on here. And uh, I kind of like the, the shorter 0 dB. Um, they do have the longer version, which is going to be a little bit quieter. But as is, um, this gun is fairly quiet. It's definitely something that I would use in my backyard um, without a moderator. But with the moderator, um, you know, it's going to be darn near silent. Now out front of the rifle, um, is a barrel band that secures the shroud and the barrel to the air tube. 
Um, this is especially important, you know, to help with any kind of point of impact changes. I personally am a fan of barrel bands. I know a lot of uh, the modern air guns um, don't tend to use them now, but I really think um, in some cases, you know, especially in a classic design like this, um, they're definitely beneficial. And then on top of that, they integrated a billet aluminum cap here. Um, the pressure gauge actually used to be out front here and uh, they had a fill port. Just underneath the fore end of the stock is your pressure gauge. Um, this reads up to 3000 PSI, which is the fill pressure. I definitely like this location much better than out in front of the air tube. It's a lot easier to read and uh, I think it's a little bit better protected as well. So I'm pretty happy over 10 shots at 50 yards. And we do have some wind up here, which I'm sure you guys can hear in the camera. If this was a ground squirrel, there's no doubt I would have made a head shot. Um, you know, for 30 foot pounds, I really kind of like to limit my, my shooting, you know, out to 60, maybe 70 yards. Um, but 50 yards is, you know, pretty ideal. At that power level, you know, it's still backyard friendly. You're able to use it around, you know, the farm, around buildings and, and be fairly safe with the power levels. And the gun is pretty efficient, you know, with air. Um, those of you wanting to go a little further, you know, with range, um, a little bit more power, you know, the 25 might be a better ticket for you, but you're gonna get less shots. Um, and the pellets are just a little bit more expensive and you're most likely not going to find them over the counter. So that's just something to think about. So I'm a little rusty. We'll see how I do. It's been a while since I've shot off hand, but generally this gun does pretty well because it's so short. Still got it. I wanted to give you guys a down and dirty look at the DAR Gen 3. These are just about to be released and so I wanted to give you guys a quick look. Um, for those of you interested, I know a lot of you guys had purchased the Gen 2 and were fairly happy with it. Um, they did you know, take a lot of feedback from customers and from guys like me that go out in the field and use these products. Um, you know, to really upgrade the gun, make some changes to it to improve it, and, you know, hopefully bring the, the performance of it up. And I think they did. Um, I do like the fact that they got rid of the fill port and went with the Foster, um, adding the half inch threading um, so we're able to mount a moderator and not have to go out and get an adapter um, is definitely an improvement. I do like the Picatinny rail definitely a better way of mounting the scope and I definitely saw an improvement in the trigger which I really think helped um, give me some better groups you know it's a lot easier to shoot the gun and get better groups um, when you've got a trigger um, that's lighter smoother and just overall you know easier to use the side lever is a huge improvement it is smooth I don't feel any wobble um, which was a, a complaint from a lot of people. They did upgrade the uh, probe to steel, um, which definitely adds to the durability of the gun. And you know, I really do love these magazines. Um, they are aluminum construction, very, very simple. Um, these have got to be like probably the most simple magazines I've seen. There's really nothing to go wrong. Um, they always 
function really well they're always really easy to load and you know little things like that you know sometimes simple is better um, kind of adds to the durability of the gun I think but the overall package is very good I like the length of it I like the weight um, this was would be ideal for you know guys that want to hike around through thick brush um, you don't have a long gun that can sometimes get hung up and in 22 caliber you know this is a backyard gun you know if you want to do some plinking some target shooting some closer range pass control I think this gun is ideal um, those of you who want to use a hand pump you can definitely do that those of you who want to you know tune this gun you can definitely do that so I believe the retail on these is just under four hundred dollars um, which is just about a hundred dollars more than I think the Gen 2's went for this is not entirely the same product they have made quite a few improvements in it and with the way the world is it doesn't surprise me that you know the price has gone up um, you know what hasn't and so that's just kind of how I look at it um, you know the, the performance that you get out of this is pretty good I look at the fact that it does have a regulator it's got a side lever it's got a lot of the features that you get on you know a much higher end gun at a fraction of that cost um, is it perfect no um, but I think for around that price range it's pretty dang good I'm pretty impressed with the accuracy of it I am going to be doing a full review of this gun but as everything I do it does take a little bit of time you know to get through and be able to edit everything and be able to give you guys as much detail as I can but I wanted to get this out to you I know these are going to be released pretty soon and so I'm going to leave a link in the description if you guys are interested you guys can reach out to them directly and I'm sure they can answer you know a lot more details about when where and you know the exact cost um, this was just kind of a quick down and dirty video to give you guys a little look at you know some of the changes that they made but let me know in the comments what you guys think you know as usual I could care less if you buy this I'm simply showing you my own experience I'm doing my job for you guys and uh, I really appreciate the support appreciate you guys watching and uh, let me know if I can help in any way you can always email me at mountainsportairguns.com and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can but I appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you soon